Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Lex today. I've done a video similar to this before, but I haven't made a video on Lex in a little while, and I also wanted to, I guess, show off a variant of this loadout. This is the normal one we go for, or this one, depending on if we want more speed or more healing. And this is the variation of it that we're going to be playing with today. Max speed Lex, I've done something similar to this, like I said, with these two, and it is absolutely crazy. Lex is one of my favorite characters to just frag out. Out with he can do really really well in a lot of situations we're going to be probably going for either heroism or discovery depending on if i want cc reduction and damage reduction and stuff or if i just want the normal one but the legendary card definitely isn't the main focus for today's video this is and it's the loadout we've got wicked don't rest it's in every other loadout i've got for lex resetting the cooldown and combat slide by 20 percent per hit we also boost our movement speed by 40 percent i don't have this at 50 because between 40 and 50 percent i can't really notice a difference which is why i usually go for this loadout because it has it level four instead of five that 10 percent isn't really that noticeable you're crazy fast either way as soon as you get out of your F we have inescapable in there which I don't have in either of the other two loads which gives us 20% movement speed buff when we're within 60 units of our target I don't know if this increases it I'm not sure I'm guessing it doesn't because of the way this is worded but I've got it in there just in case it does because I, I genuinely don't know because there it says within 60 units of your target so I'm guessing if you increase the range it's not going to make a big difference because um, those 10 units aren't going to be added onto this card but I'll leave it in there just to find out I suppose I was going to have condition in there but it's a three percent movement speed buff we're just going to get max nimble and then this won't really even be noticeable so there's no point really having this in a loadout then we have commencement for a 20 percent bonus distance on the slide that's a loadout there's not really all that much else to it we've got a makoa we've got a grover a koga and a victor so we've got double flank tank healer damage this is a pretty damn good team if we're being honest here grover is prior to his 2.03 buff because we're on 2.02 pts is going to be up in like 10 days so i have a decent amount of time to cover all the stuff i still want to cover on 2.02 if you've got any suggestions um let me know. They have a Tyra, a Vivian, another Grover, another Makoa, and a Ruckus. Okay, sure. Oh, and that's that's four Grandmasters. Matchmaking. Hello? Are you there, matchmaking? What happened? Where have you gone? Matchmaking, please. Wherever you are, can you come back to me? I need you in my life. I guess let's try out the loadout. How much distance do we have on our F? That seems like it goes for quite a while. Tyra is our target. Why have I been matched with four GMs? There's a couple people on our side that I recognize, and a couple people on their side that I recognize. So I think I've played with a couple of these people before. I'm actually going to start off with Court. And then I'm also going to get Wrecker. I know this is max speed Lex and everything, but for the sake of this match, I really could do with Court and Wrecker because they have a lot of shielding. Ruckus, Makoa, and Vivian all have shields. We're going to try and get a mix of both and hopefully do okay. I'm hoping Victor goes for Wrecker. I don't know why Koga prioritized kill to heal here. I guess it's because he's going for claw spam Koga, which I guess is okay. Although he's gone for this legendary card and I don't know if this card affects that. I don't think it does because when I did like a little test in the target practice, it didn't seem like it reduced how much my health went down. So I, I don't know if that's even doing anything for him, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and play up the middle, I guess. Hello, enemy team. There's some shots for you. Are we going on this Tyra? She's not got much movement, so we should be able to flank her pretty easily. Hello, Vivian. Can we finish her off? Oh, she's low. She's low. Why did I just dive in? That was possibly the wrong play or not, because we just got first blood. Koga gave me a hand. Thank you for that. Uh, Grover's still alive, although Makoa's not. Oh, my God. That was a mess. Hello, Tyra. What's popping? There's some hits for you. There's some hits. She's out. Nice. Let's chase down this Makoa, who's just here. Victor did some damage on him before he was out. I forgot this skin doesn't actually show you the bullet decals on the screen and stuff. It just shows you like the little non-rendered square. That's being fixed in 2.03 as far as I know. Let's get some damage on him. He should be dead. Let's use that. There we go. Free kills. We're actually doing an okay job so far. I forget how much damage I deal to the target. We went for the legendary card that gives us bonus damage. So when we get those hits, it really does have pretty big impact on him. Is she going to push up? I don't know what she's doing here, but she's dead. There we go. Hello, Tyra. What's popping? Can I use my auto aim, please? Thank you. I'll get a free double. I'm really finding it funny that we've not got bullet decals. It looks hilarious. Is he going to throw anything? No, there's some hits for you. Oh, he's low. He's low. Can we finish him off? Yeah, we go. Nice. Okay, let's finish off the Makoa as well. Oh, yes. One shot's all I need. Finish him off. He's low. He's low. Let's go get Tyra as well. Oh, I died to the nade. She's gone though, right? Yes, Koga finished her off. Nice. If we just capture this objective, we should be fine. I'm going to get Wrecker because I really do need both. And then we're also going to get Nimble for the sake of the video. I'll try and level all three of them at the same sort of time. Oh, I've got 600 credits now because we captured the point. I guess I can get more Wrecker. Sure. Wrecker's probably more important than Court here because Grover's doing a good job on heals, but it's probably more useful for me to be able to go through Vivian and Ruckus' shield. Poor Grandmasters. I don't know if they're console Grandmasters or whatever, but they're not playing like a lot of the PC Grandmasters I've played against in the past. He's just gone. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and leave. This bonus movement speed is ridiculous when we're within the range of our target. We're able to shred people so crazily. Okay, he's out of there. Let's F in here. Where are they are? I don't even know where they've gone. Hello, Vivian. We meet again. I've met you before. Let's finish her off. She's gone. Nice. I'm saying let's finish her off, but she's full health. That's because we have crazy damage 
damage output with Lex. I love this loadout so much. Oh my god. You bet your ass are going to beat four Grandmasters. I have no idea whether they're console Grandmasters or off their PC Grandmasters, but right now, we're currently getting the bag. We are securing the bag currently. Thank you for the heal there, Grover. She's gone. And um, let's throw out some little cheeky shots. That's a tire. Oh, I can't use my F. What was I crippled by? Did Grover cripple me? I didn't even realize I was crippled. I just saw my F wasn't able to be used there. Grover's on a freaking 17 streak. Victor's on a 12. Makoa's on a 6. I've got two deaths because I didn't realize I was crippled there. I didn't realize I was crippled until it was too late. I was trying to hit my F and it wasn't letting me do it. So I goofed a little bit. Fucking Coca's just going ham. Triple kill? What? How did he just like wipe three people that quickly? That was like one dash. I don't know, but their whole team just died and we got a push. I'm being carried quite a bit here. I do recognize names on my side, which is why I think we maybe have Grandmasters on our side who aren't using the border, but we're 2-0 against a team with four Grandmasters on them and I'm, I'm doing okay, so I'll take it. This loadout does feel pretty crazy. I don't know if I prefer it to the other one, but that 20% Mono's movement speed when we get within range of our target is kind of crazy. It's actually throwing me off a little bit because when we get in that range, I'm getting such a big boost. 20% is like nimble too. Um, and it feels kind of weird because I'm getting bonus speed and I feel like I've just got an elimination to trigger a card when it's not that. It's just me being within range is making that happen. Do I want to ult here? I'm making sure I don't get hooked by that card because that could have been deadly. Let's get rid of him. I'm going to chase him down. We're chasing him down, boys. What's popping? There we go. He's gone. Hello, Makoa. I'm going to probably change my target here. Yeah, there we go. That made sense. I actually didn't even get Makoa. I got Vivian. There's uh, more hits for you. I'm just going to roll this way. There we go. We can completely deny what he just tried to do there because he dashed into us and we could just dash in the other direction because of the loadout we've got. Let's finish him off. There we go. That's an entire wipe. Did any of us die there? I don't think we got a single death. Can we get rid of him? Oh, he's low. He's low. I wasn't landing any of those at the end there. Koga's just going to go in, I think. Or maybe not. Did he not go in? I don't know. Oh, let's chase her down. She's low. There, she's low. There we go. Free kill. Oh, I'm dead. I am very dead. Can we finish her off before I'm gone? Yes, I'm still alive on 60 health. 60 health, and I'm dead to, to goddamn Rikers. Okay, at least I got a bit of a play there, trying to be aggressive. Let's get Caller Eyes as well. Tier 2 Court, Tier 2 Wrecker, and Nimble. Victor is on the same sort of thing. Then we have Caller Eyes on Makoa and a bit of Court on my boy Koga. He has Mac kill to heal, but it's being denied by their Court a little bit. I'm basically just spamming the crap out of my left click to get rid of shields and stuff, and it's pretty much working fine. Oh, how was that inaccuracy going to mess me up so bad there? We nearly had that kill. He's gone. Nice, cheeky reload. What's popping, Vivian? You're gone as well. Wrecker doing work. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Grover. There we go. My god, four Grandmasters are being stomped right now. I don't know if it's because they're playing on controllers or something, but they're not playing like a lot of the PC Grandmasters I've been matched with before. There's an ult that did nothing. We cleared his shield, though. I don't remember it clearing shields. Maybe that's something that it's been changed to recently. I don't remember Lex's thing clearing shields, but it's fine. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> God, I knew I was screwed. I screwed up two times in a row there. He went behind the pillar, which screwed me up because I wasn't able to get around there fast enough and I had no ammo in my mag when I used my right click. But after that, I slid and I got caught on the freaking side. I messed up two times in a row. I do not feel as if I am worthy of the team I've been given right now. These guys are going ham, although they have been killed now because a lot of their streaks are gone. Victor's still going pretty hard, though. Let's go ahead and finish this game. Let's just finish it. Let's just end this. There we go. Emo on the point, even though I didn't do all that much. Might as well just give him the old no, no. Don't, don't even try for Grandmasters. There we go. Don't think I'm gonna have top play. Koga does. He's not there. Koga, hello. Koga, where you at, my guy? He doesn't even want to be in the top play. He's too good for the top play. He's just not even going to show up. What's this going to be? I guessed it was going to be like a, a clause through three people, but he kills Makoa. He then just slowly slashes away, gets an accidental kill on Grover, and then gets rid of Ruckus and gets an assist on Vivian and gets an assist on Tyra. That's like an unofficial penta. He had a part in all five of those kills there. Let's let's see the stats. Well, if we take a look at them, I didn't do that bad. 13 to 4 was pretty good. I'll take that, to be honest. I don't feel like I did too badly. 61k damage isn't the best, but it's the third best. Victor topped me. He went 14 to 80k. Um, Grover did pretty good. 84k heals. Koga did pretty good. 60k damage. Makoa didn't do great, but he still did really well. He was playing pretty aggressively. 4 4 20. He had a hell of a lot of assists and 40k damage. Their Ruckers did pretty weirdly. Their Grover didn't do great. He had a decent amount of healing, though. Their Tyra did pretty good. 63k. She beat me by 2k. Um, Vivian didn't do great. 5 12 43k. And Makoa went 1 7 with 3 assists. They had a pretty rough game there. I don't know if they were just not coordinated or what was going on, but those four Grandmaster borders gave me a, a moment of like, oh, I'm probably going to lose this game. And then we still came through pretty clutch. I didn't do crazy good, but I did decent. You know, I didn't do badly. I did okay because it's my first time playing Lex in ages. I'm okay with that. Victor and Koga did a very good job there, kill to death ratio wise. And Grover only died once. He was alive a lot throwing out those heals. 15, 4, 14, 2. Jesus Christ. Let's, let's queue for another. That was great. I do actually like this loadout. I don't know if this card even makes sense in there. Keen sight. So maybe you should change it out for something. I don't feel like conditioned is worth having in there. And I'm not really using my pursuit all that 
much. If there was a card that buffed my speed in pursuit, I'd chuck it in there, but I don't really know what I could even use. TDM Dragon Arena. I don't think I've played Lex on this before, and if I have, I don't remember it. Let's go ahead and use another booster. I need to get through these. I've got like 50 of them. I don't even know how I have 50 of them, but we're going to go ahead and try and get through them. Looks like we've got an Andro, Amani, Fury, Willow as the final team. Amani is level 0, which means she hasn't played her before, which is a bit scary, but hopefully she does okay. We're up against a Khan, a Koga, another Amani, a Grover, and an Andro. So this is a pretty even team. Any names I recognize? There's a couple people on this I think I played with, and on our side, don't think so. I feel like I definitely could have avoided some deaths if I played more sensibly in that last game. Fury just said Frost Fangs from YouTube. I'll drop a yes and a U Rock. Appreciate that. I just slid through the booster. Didn't know you could do that. That's something I've just learned. I definitely haven't played Lex on this before, or else I would have probably remembered that. Let's get rid of you. Okay, this is an awkward play. We're going to leave real quick. Hello. Thank you for the heal, whoever just healed me. I think that was Fury. Let's burst him down. He's pretty low. Oh, no. What am I doing? My accuracy is terrible. I just jumped on top of his head. He's gone, though. He's on, like, no health. Can we just go through his shield, please? Can we just finish him off? Can we just finish him off? He's on, like, no health. There we go. We got rid of him. Uh, Koga's here on kind of low. Hello, Amani. Oh, auto-aim. Auto-aim. Why are you focusing the Koga when I'm pointing directly at the Amani? I think she's dead anyway, though. Did Fury Beam just hit her? I don't know. Why was the auto-aim hitting Koga even though I was pointing it directly at Amani? I was like, come on, auto-aim. Don't work against me here. I know the play I want to try and make. We're just dodging her fireballs. Just about. Jesus Christ, that might have killed me there if I got hit by that one. Are we going to finish off the Koga? Are we going to run in, slide in, and finish him off? He's pretty low. Hello, Koga. What's popping, my guy? Oh, no. Inaccuracy. Don't mess me up. He's gone, though. we got to get rid of him? No. I'm on, like, 700 health. Hello, Koga. I'm so dead. I'm a dead man. Yep, I missed a bunch of shots. The inaccuracy is really what's messing me up right now. Let's get more caught. That should help me out a little bit because their Grover's doing a pretty damn good job. Let's see if we can use our ult whilst we're on the bounce pad. Nope, that didn't work. I don't know what I was even trying to do there. That worked pretty awkwardly, but that's fine. Andro's doing an all up there. He's not really doing all that much, but he's trying to. Oh my god, they're all pretty low, but Grover just pulled out an ult. Let's slide in. Is this going to work? Can we get some damage on him? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's on like no health. Let's hit E. E. Oh shit, double kill. That actually worked. I usually mess up usually mess up Lex ults, but there we go. We just got like a triple. Unofficial quadra, or an actual quadra. An actual quadra. We did it. And then I died because I for some reason thought auto aim was the best play there, even though it very clearly wasn't. I'll take the quadra. That's an Amani ult from not our team because it doesn't sound like it's coming from our side. There it is. Oh, and a Khan ult for me, I guess. I'm I'm just dead. How long is he gonna hold me for? Can I just can I just die, please? Don't know what the hell Amani was trying to do with her dragon. Don't think she got a single piece of damage on anybody, but maybe I'm wrong. There goes Koga. Let's slide in and finish her off. Oh my god, inaccuracy don't work against me, please. We got rid of her at least. This is actually going to be a pretty heavy loss. We're 17 to 33. I thought this was going to be a really low tiered game, but they've actually whooped us so far. Andro. Andro. Okay. I still died there. Can Friera just finish him off? Just tap him a little bit? Yeah, there we go. She did it. Nice. Let's get even more Wrecker, even though this game is over. Let's go finish off the Amani. She's dead. Hello, Khan. What's popping, my guy? Give me all the damages. Give me all those 320s. Why am I only dealing 320? I feel like I should be doing more than that. There's some more damage for you guys. There's the slide. That is getting me stuck on there. Hello? What just happened? I just glitched three times in a row. What? Dragon's Arena, why, why you gotta do me like that? Why you gotta do me dirty? There's my attempted ult. I just saw myself in third person whilst also ulting. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that game was, but you know what? I got top play. So we got a win, no top play, and then a loss, but a top play. That's okay. We finished neutral today. What's it going to be? I think this is the, the quadra, right? So we kill those two guys. We got quite lucky with that. Cheeky spray. We go in and we finish off Grover, and then we go in and we try and finish off this Amani. There we go. I had to put one last shot in there to get rid of her, and then I died to Koga. I probably could have got a Penta if I played that play a little bit better, but I'll, I'll take a quadra. That's not bad. Yeah, I definitely did worse in that game than I did in that first one, which is surprising to me, but honestly, I didn't do that bad. I had third top damage again. Andro only beat me by like 70 and then Amani beat me by like a little bit. Uh, Willow did okay. 6-3 ain't bad. Amani was terrible. 1-11 to 11 with 21k damage is pretty bad but that was her first time I guess. Fury did okay. 1-6 isn't great though with 11k damage and 15k healing. Their Grover did okay. 53k heals is pretty good. The Khan did pretty good. 10-3 and 21k damage actually isn't great though. His stats good because uh, Grover was basically pocket healing him the whole game. Grover and Khan were basically inseparable that match. They stuck together very very well which is probably why they won on that because they both had three deaths because they every time they were getting killed they were getting killed together because they were just grouped. Koga did really well on their side as well 14-5. The only person who really caused me problems was Koga and then this pair. Andro wasn't too bad 20k and uh, Mani didn't cause me too many problems. It was just Koga running around like a madman and then these two guys who were basically together the whole game. I definitely say max speed Lex is ridiculous. It's always been ridiculous. It's it's pretty damn crazy if you get this to flow right. The only problem was with me that game I was often going like 1v2 or 1v3 in that last one having a really tough time. In the first match where it's 
it's more open we were able to kind of single out people and do really really well and focus our target but that last match was just a very hard one to go against the second one definitely wasn't a good example but that first one 100% was a lot of the games you'll play like this will go like that if you play your cards right and you do it properly I definitely like this I still can't decide if I prefer it I actually think this one is going to be better but if you want to have more speed for the sake of having more speed this is an option for me I'm gonna stick to this because this gives you the whole sustain side of it which I really really like because then you get the lifesteal and the 50% freaking regen pretty much whenever you get a kill on your target so I'm gonna stick to this one but if you want speed this definitely works as well I also didn't really get much of a chance to get max nimble which now that I think about it wouldn't have made a big difference I had to go quarter eyes and record to deal with the team we were up against or else we'd have been pretty screwed so I didn't really get a chance to build max nimble although it wouldn't have made a huge difference really we were already getting ridiculous amounts of speed that max nimble probably wouldn't have made that feel any different at all I was dying mainly because they were being healed and stuff and I was going 1v2 so I don't think nimble would have helped me out so yeah there we go that's max speed lex let me know what you want to see me do next by dropping a comment in the comment section down below leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed it I'll see you guys all very very soon and as always stay frosty